He's a fan favorite, a top lightweight contender, and an action fighter in every sense of the word. But not all of Justin Gaethje's fellow fighters think so highly of him. With that in mind, we're going to bring you the truth, the real reasons why some UFC fighters hate Justin Gaethje. His Ties to Ali Abdulaziz Though many fighters have tied themselves down to the most infamous manager in the sport today, Ali Abdulaziz, oftentimes both the fans and fighters get a bit of a sour taste in their mouth when they see another huge name sign with Dominance MMA management. As perhaps the most reputable management firm in the game, a lot of Dominance's success comes solely down to the inescapable presence of its head Ali Abdulaziz, a man who has taken the role of promoter and manager and merged them into one job. A lot of fighters who don't fall within the Dominance family are quite quick to criticize those who are calling Abdulaziz a morally questionable figure to have ties to, while also accusing him of attention-seeking in spite of the interests of his clients. Ali's a crazy dude, just like Justin is, and sure, his practices are a bit strange, but one look at his list of success stories will tell you that Abdulaziz is the very best in the business at getting his fighters the biggest possible matchups. So depending on how you feel about that, Gaethje's connection to this controversial figure might be a bit of a knock of him. We know for a fact that it certainly is for some of his fellow UFC fighters. His Earnings it might seem like an odd thing to be upset about, but for any fighter hoping to bring home an extra $50,000 to their family, finding out that Justin Gaethje is also featuring on the same card is something of a nightmare. The man is a performance bonus machine, always likely to take home an extra lump of cash for his brutal finishes or his fight of the night winning showdowns. It's not necessarily Gaethje's fault that he's so entertaining, but somewhere deep down, we'd be willing to bet that it absolutely kills his fellow fighters to know that their chances of nabbing one of those elusive 50k bonuses reduces massively as soon as Gaethje's name joins theirs on the billing. Seriously, ever since Justin signed with the UFC in 2017, in just 8 fights he has managed to win fight of the night 5 times and a performance bonus 4 times, becoming the first fighter in UFC history to take home an extra paycheck in each of his first 7 outings. If you take his loss to Khabib out of the equation, Gaethje has walked out of there with either 50 or 100k extra each and every time. Is it right of us to call that unfair? Absolutely not. Justin is an electric talent and it's only right that his hard work is paying off in such a lucrative way. But for his fellow athletes, that is well and truly a track record worth being jealous of. His support of Donald Trump Trump is a huge fan of MMA. He's a huge, you know, he's a reason, maybe not a huge reason, but he's a reason that, that you know, the UFC is here. Politics and the fight game aren't exactly a match made in heaven, but every so often, the two topics end up getting tangled together, something that was never so prevalent as during the presidential run of Donald Trump. Obviously, as an incredibly divisive figure, Trump isn't exactly everybody's cup of tea. And when Gaethje appeared at one of his rallies alongside his fellow fighters Colby Covington and Henry Cejudo, it was always going to ruffle a few feathers. And though, unlike Colby and Jorge Masvidal, Gaethje hasn't been the most vocal supporter of the Republican president. His ties to Trump have been enough for many fans and fighters to see him in a new light. Whether it's actually relevant or not is down to your own perspective. But all in all, Gaethje certainly put himself into the crosshairs with this one. It's hard to keep your nose entirely out of controversy these days, but for Justin, pleasing everyone has never looked like it was too far up on his list of priorities. His leg kicks There's no nice way to put it. Most fighters just hate getting kicked in the legs. And when you're taking a guy who is one of the trickiest approaches to chopping you down from beneath, yeah, that's a good enough reason to hesitate before signing on the dotted line. Before signing with the UFC, Justin actually managed to score three different TKO finishes with leg kicks during his days in the World Series of Fighting. His application of leg kicks has always been a truly interesting part of his game, as he uses them in the pocket and in the midst of a firefight to throw his opponents off balance. And it's not like they're a controversial technique, but make no mistake, the name Justin Gaethje is not one of these guys you want to see in a fight contract because win, lose, or draw, you're going to have a very tough time walking the next day. And that's if he doesn't manage to score an early knockout. Some fighters are just nasty in there. And when it comes to taking on the highlight, you're all but guaranteed an incredibly tough night at the office. Just ask the former lightweight champion Eddie Alvarez, a man who was forced to absorb an ungodly amount of punishment to the legs before finding a miracle TKO victory in the last round. We'd bet any amount of money that he was in some serious agony the following day. Remember, if you're enjoying this video and want to help our channel out, be sure to leave a like to push Watch MMA to the very top of MMA YouTube. His Trash Talking Gaethje seems like a pretty nice guy on the surface, but his trash talking can often be either completely brutal or hard-edged, or it can sometimes just miss the mark entirely. Take his UFC debut against Michael Johnson, for example. From start to finish, the trash talk exchange between the two came across as forced and unnatural, as Johnson promised to give him a rude welcome to the UFC once the octagon doors closed. Sure, Gaethje was the least cringe-worthy of the two, but even still, his own attempts to talk up his chances fell flat on more than one occasion. On the flip side, when Gaethje actually hits the nail on the head, he can actually be quite brutal with his words. 
Though a pretty mild-mannered guy in general, his rivalries with the likes of Conor McGregor and James Vick have showcased a coldness to this former UFC interim champion that is sure to rub some of his fellow fighters the wrong way. Sure, his fight against Khabib Nurmagomedov and Dustin Poirier saw him adopt a far more respectful tone, but make no mistake, Justin Gaethje has a mean side, one he's not afraid to show under the right circumstances. Could you imagine how electric a press conference between him and Conor McGregor would be? Lines would be crossed on multiple occasions, that's for sure. Let's just keep our fingers firmly crossed for now, shall we? His wrestling. Some of you might not know, but Justin Gaethje was actually an NCAA Division I All-American during his time at the University of Northern Colorado in his youth. He even faced off against the future Olympic gold medalist Jordan Burroughs, breaking two of his molars during their original clash. Again, this might be surprising news to some of you, given how Gaethje fights, and for his fellow UFC athletes, to be frank, most of them would kill to have his level of wrestling experience underneath them. And for those who find his style barbaric and rough, there's probably quite a bit of frustration for them as they watch this decorated wrestler refuse to use his base skill set. Sure, he doesn't do it out of any level of disrespect for the sport of wrestling, but with his focus so heavily on getting into firefights that it's hard not to consider him as someone who is wasting a significant part of their skill set in favor of just generally fighting like a crazy person. Call it nitpicking, but we're certain that many fighters hold this belief. His attitude towards Conor McGregor Though Conor McGregor's reputation within the UFC is at an all-time low, he still has his friends in the fight game, and while they never found their way into the octagon together, or at least just yet, every time Justin is asked about Conor, it's pretty clear that he has absolutely no respect for the former two-weight world champion. From telling the world that he enjoyed watching the Irishman get knocked out, to expressing his belief that McGregor would never dare sign on the dotted line to fight him, Justin has never been one to be anything other than hugely critical of his fellow lightweight contender, convinced in his belief that Conor doesn't deserve the success that he has earned. The highlight makes a point of taking a dig at McGregor whenever the opportunity presents itself, and with McGregor himself as some of his friends, training partners, and general supporters to be found within the UFC roster, we're certain that this has rubbed a lot of fighters up the wrong way. Sure, he's controversial, but a lot of fighters are of the opinion that the sport and the opportunities within it simply would not be the same if it weren't for this brash, loudmouth champion from Dublin, Ireland. His popularity. Some fighters are just jealous. There's no other way to put it, and it's understandable. You put your entire life's work into making an ascent to the top of the MMA game, and you're overshadowed by a guy who made his career fighting like a wild man, looking more like the Homer Simpson of MMA with each passing fight. Gaethje has indeed gotten more technical as the years have gone on, but during the most exciting period of his career, it's easy to imagine how his fellow fighters might have looked at his fighting style as quite primitive, and given how sensitive a lot of these athletes can be, watching Gaethje continue to ascend, growing in popularity by the fight, yeah, we can certainly understand how that might cause some pretty serious frustration. And that will just about do it for this video. If you enjoyed today's list, be sure to leave a like and a comment before subscribing to the channel so you can stay up to date with all of our latest uploads. Thanks for watching.